this is a case study in which uh, we see a cystic area that is aquifer at the uh, right number region. It is a like a now, this is the cyst with internal lycos, cystic area with internal lycos. With posterior wall acoustic enhancement, you can see, and uh, its approximate uh, size as well as the volume is approximately 16. centimeters into 14 centimeters into 18 uh, into 15 centimeters now when it's going to be uh, uh, surgically removed the volume will be uh, more than two liters as uh, volume uh, by calculation of the machine ultrasound machine is 1.8 uh, Letters. However, post-surgical, this will be more than two letters. So this is a cyst with an approximate <coughs> volume of two liters plus. And you see there are no internal calcification. There is no solid element seen within it. And you will be able to note slight movement of the uh, material echoes within this uh, large cystic area relating to the right lumbar region. Now this is the liver. Let's see if it uh, is intraperitoneal or extraperitoneal. Here you see the liver. Let's see, explore the liver and the liver with this is the liver, normal liver, normal diaphragm, no fluid above the diaphragm, no fluid period. The portal vein, the gallbladder are normal. And now here if you see that the pancreas is seen normal. This is the pancreas, this area. This is the splenic vein. Aorta, superior military cartridge. We do not see any para aortic lymph nodes as this is the aorta, superior military cartridge rising from it. This is the head of the pancreas and this is the portal vein, the liver of the surface smooth, normal pancreas of lipogenicity, portal vein is normal. left side on the left side we see that the this kidney is uh, showing normalcy may yes 10.4 centimeters in length and uh, 4.7 cm in anterior posterior diameter with no calculi, no hydronecrosis. And this is the supreme, supreme, this is the left hemidiaphragm part of it, no papillary appearance seen. And the supreme measures 8.5 is with a normal range. This is the urinary bladder of this. Uh, 50 years old patient. This is the unit better. This is the seminal vesicle. And uh, here you will see the prostate in longitudinal section. This area is the prostate in longitudinal section. So no pathology is seen relating to this region. There is no ascites seen. Pasala. 
so this is sticky uh, area filled with eco does not relate to any other uh, <coughs> organ. This is the aorta. This is the echo phase cystic area under study. Its wall is thin, neat. However, if we see that the where is the right kidney? You will see the right kidney is displaced downwards by this large cyst. see the kidney in its normal lumbar location rather here we see it is displaced. This is the upper pole of the left kidney. This is the mid region in this uh, scanning plane. This is the right kidney. And this uh, this measurement is just to show you the kidney where it is. So and uh, so So the kidney is displaced downwards and pyramidally. This is the transfer section of the abscess. And if you know, you will see that the this is the right kidney, this area, its size is smaller as compared to that of the uh, left kidney, this is the right one, central sinus echo complex is normal, echogen, parenchymal echogenicity is raised, and here lies the cystic structure, echo field, this is a sub, so this is in fact uh, an abscess a perinephric abscess. This is the capsule of the right kidney. This is the capsule of the right kidney. So this is the abscess uh, in this right kidney. This is the right kidney and this is the so this, this is the abscess. Most probably it's going to be a cold abscess and it is a perinephric abscess. It is just displaced downwards, it has a pressure effect on its uh, size. Relate to any other organ, it relates <coughs> neither uh, to the uh, right kidney. However, it is displacing the right kidney and is in anterior to the right kidney. In cell. so we will say that this is a, an abscess in this very nephric location, right very nephric abscess with a volume of more than two liters, with a large excess, with no internal calcification, no solid material, no pressure effect on any other organ, does not relate to any other organ, and uh, the only pressure effect seen is on the right kidney, and uh, this is the right kidney. You can see that its capsule is intact. This is the right kidney and this is the anterior capsule of the right kidney 
this is the very nephric region where you are seeing an abscess. So this is a case study of the right perinephric abscess with pressure effect on the right kidney. Thank you.